What's going on guys, welcome back. Today we're going to check out the Police Pursuit 5-pack. This is new for 2019. Quick look at the card art before we start tearing into it. Have a quick look at the cars. Very cool, love that, that's why I bought it, it was for the Corvette. And on the back we have a nice picture there. You can see the cars going through in the background, looks like this one's been chased by a police car. Normally we get the names on the backs of the five packs here in Australia, but this one here is does not have it. Uh, quick look, see this is what I mean. You can see that there's a, uh, a list of the cars. So for this pack, I guess we'll find out together which side will we be able to open this one from. I really should just open these before I get into the show. It'll make it so much faster. And you know what, you know what, a little tip for everybody, if you want to get into this without ripping the side, uh, you can just cut down here, be careful of your fingers, and then obviously you want to do it a little bit neater than that, but if you can just slice the top off with a pair of scissors or just cut it open neatly, not like I do, the pack will slide out and then it should contain the packet a lot better than that. So here we go, have a quick look at the cars. Quite a few fantasy castings in this one, since there are only two licensed vehicles. And this one looks plastic. So, let's just put these to the side and get onto it. Starting with the Corvette. Which one is this in the police livery? This is the Corvette C6R. Very cool. I do quite like the police livery on this one. You can have 911 there for the American phone number. Here in Australia it is 000. zero, zero. Uh, I'm not too sure what other countries have for their uh, emergency numbers, but there you go. But anyway, let's get on to this. Corvette Stingray in a nice metal flake grey. Very cool. Nice blue window, plastic spoiler on the back there. Very cool, very cool. It's even got a little bit of texture on there. That's awesome. Put that one there. Next, the second car is a second license car and as I was saying, this is a plastic vehicle. Plastic body with a metal base. Very shiny metal base. This is a Chevy Tahoe. Oh, there you go, the Chevy Tahoe in kind of a burnt orange, metallic burnt orange colour. The colour's actually very nice for plastic. And this is the Hot Wheels Police Department. Police Escort. Some white wheels. Bit of detail on the front there, moulded in. Blue light bar, very cool. And a white interior, or a cream coloured interior. Pretty cool. Uh, next, we have a SWAT car. Well, what is this thing? This is a... I have absolutely no idea what this is called. But it has a nice SWAT livery. I like the guns on it. This is really cool. Kind of like a Mad Max style car, actually. Very cool. I'll have to find out what this model is and get a couple extra, just so I can take the guns off for some customs. Nice, matte black, red plastic base, and some blue rimmed off-road wheels. Pretty cool for a fantasy casting. And this thing is extremely bright. This looks like a British police livery, although it could be anything. Number two, orange window with a chrome interior. And a blue plastic base. Nice gold wheels though. What is this one called? This is called Speed Trap. Oh, that's appropriate for a police car. Pretty cool. Not too bad at all. And the last car in the five pack is a Hot Wheels Task Force, Police Task Force car with the giant engine in the back. That is insane. I don't know what you're chasing down if you have to use something like this. Nice big red OH5 wheels. Hot wheels moulded into the back. Awesome. 
This one does not. Ah, diesel duty. There you go. This is the first time I've ever actually owned one of these castings. I can't say much about it. 2010 casting on this. But there you go. Not actually a bad selection of cars, as always. There's always something for everybody. Something for the licensed car collectors. Something for the police in general collectors and emergency service collectors. And just some pretty cool ones for the kids. So, tell me what you think about it in the comments below. And I will be bringing you some more five packs and other Hot Wheels reviews in the future. And until next time, have fun, and I will see you all then. Bye.